Hi everyone, this is TXM and Elevators, and this is going to be a much needed updated video on my elevator parts collection. This is also going to be a test video on my new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, so we will see how it turns out. We'll start here at the top with my uh, elevator parts display sign I put together. Uh, it's pretty cheaply put together, but it lights up and I think it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Next to that we have a pretty neat Amtec floor indicator. Um, this came out of a building somewhere in Southern California. I'm completely blanking on the city <clears throat> it came from. Uh, it's not in the greatest shape. Um, you can tell the G button was replaced. If you look closely, uh, it's in better condition than the other ones. But it also pushes in. Uh, it's got a micro switch in it. And none of the rest of them push in. Moving down to the first shelf, we'll start here with this Atom Survivor Plus call station. Uh, this thing is in pretty rough shape. Uh, I bought this one as well as two others, which you'll see in a minute, for pretty cheap with the intention of restoring them. That never happened. Maybe someday it will. Um, but it is pretty interesting because it doesn't have the little lamp socket hole like um, most of these do. And it also has a floor indicator on the top here. Next to that we have an Adam, another Adams call station. This one lights up. Uh, next to that we have a Westinghouse Type A, I believe, uh, call station from the 1970s. This thing's pretty cool. Um, this one's actually a pretty recent addition to my collection. Next to that, we have a GAL Jet Plus call station. I believe this came out of a building in New York City. Uh, this thing lights up with the contacts in it are really finicky. Oh, that was lucky. Um, and I've also got the in-use light lighting up. And next to that, we have two Schindler HT call stations. I had these both rigged up to light up, but um, <clears throat> I'm working on a better setup for that, so they are not lighting up right now. Um, but I do have the key lighting up the fire service light when it's on reset or on. It's hard to do that with one hand because this thing likes to fall over, as you can see. <clears throat> uh, this is a Kone KSS 570, I believe, uh, call station. Uh, this actually came from Kone Elevator in St. Paul, so huge thanks to them for sending this out. Um... Uh, this here is an Otis Luxury call station. I believe this is the uh, touch-sensitive version. Or I put that in quotes. Not actually touch-sensitive. It does push in very slightly. Um, but this thing is pretty neat. Um, I think I can get this to light up, but I got this not too long ago, so I just haven't had the time to do it yet. Moving down the shelf, we'll start here with this Epco Circle Line call station. Uh, this came out of Campbell Mithen Tower in downtown Minneapolis. This came off a Westinghouse elevator. Uh, Schindler modernized that. I believe the building is called 222 now. Uh, they completely renovated the building. Um, <clears throat> this is a ThyssenKrupp uh, 1515, we'll say, so I stay monetized here. Uh, call station. This thing is pretty neat. Uh, it's actually got magnetic contacts. Um... I got this for a pretty good deal on eBay quite a few years ago, so that's pretty neat. Uh, here we have an ERM call station. <coughs> um, one of the first buttons I ever got, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's got the in case of fire use stairway. Of course, it's uh, when it was in use on an elevator, it was kind of in a diamond shape, but of course you can't really set it up that way on the shelf, so it's just leaning up off to the side. And then here we have a Dover traditional call station. A lot of people have these. Uh, these were everywhere on eBay. <clears throat> the only reason mine doesn't light up is because there's uh, an issue with the contact and the up button. At some point maybe I'll fix that, but it still hasn't happened, so maybe it never will happen. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, this is a PTO call station. Lights up. Very shiny. I need to clean it, though. And then this thing says Armor Kone, which... 
which was unknown to me at the time, but um, Armor Kone was actually a short time merger. I just thought when I bought this that it happened to say Armor and Kone on it, but as it turns out, they were indeed a short term merger <coughs> um, when I looked it up. Um, here is a Montgomery call station. I'm pretty sure this is made by Innovation, uh, but it does say Montgomery on the circuit board. Then next to that we have uh, Adam's WN Signature on a fairly interesting plate. Lights up blue. And then we have three of these Innovation Sail Samples. Uh, this one is Square Security. This came from Kone and St. Paul, so huge thanks to them for sending that out. And then we have um, Bruiser and Universal with those two. And here we have a new old stock CJ Anderson call station. Huge thanks to Tom from CJ Anderson for sending this to me. This is super cool. Uh, this is an Acme floor indicator, um, which is behind a Dover floor indicator from the 70s. Uh, it's just the plate. This thing's pretty neat. Um, and then this is the ThyssenKrupp Safety Ambassador button. A lot of people have these, but huge thanks to um, the ThyssenKrupp Safety Ambassador program for sending this out. It's got the ThyssenKrupp logo on the back. And of course, as you saw, it lights up. It's just a mad BS button. Um, moving down a shelf, we have a bunch of uh, elevator merch. Uh, just a bunch of various things. Uh, we have some little Kone foam escalators that are pretty cool. We have this foam truck from ThyssenKrupp. Got some magnets, some catalogs sitting kind of hiding behind those. Um, a lot, a lot of safety ambassador stuff. Got an innovation hat, and under that is a Schindler hat. Um, we have some pins over there. Got a mug holder from Otis, an MEI flashlight, um, and just some other various things. I've used those pins before, so some of this stuff is pretty useful too. Uh, and besides the fact that it's sitting on my shelf. Moving down to the bottom here, uh, well, speaking of merch, we have a Kone water bottle. And then we have an Otis bag from Otis in Dallas. And then a um, safety ambassador backpack. Um, but down to the buttons here, we have two uh, monitor call stations. I'm not sure exactly which fixture line this is from them. But these, I'm pretty sure, came out of a building in New York City. Uh, this key switch is very broken, um, <clears throat> but I've got the fire key for it in there. Then next to that, we have a monitor TR call station. I had this wired up, but the battery died, so I need to get a new battery for it. I just lit up uh, amber. Uh, here we have a PTL call station. It's got these interesting little arrows here. Um... I did have the arrows lighting up, but the wiring broke to them, so I need to fix that. <coughs> but the the uh, buttons still light up blue. And then here we have an Epco call station. This came from Schindler in Dallas, so huge thanks to them. And then next to that we have a Dover Impulse call station. Uh, I believe the top one uh, is the original one, and the bottom one is replaced. The bottom one has two switches on it, and this one only has one. You can also tell this one's in better condition. And then here we have some lanterns. Um, <clears throat> I have a shelf coming for them, but for now they're just sitting down here. Uh, that one's a pretty beat-up innovation lantern. I'm guessing it's from like the 90s or 2000s. Um, that's a Westinghouse lantern. It kind of looks like Schindler MT, but it's Westy. Um, that's Otis Series 1, and that is actually ThyssenKrupp Studio, which is pretty cool. Moving back to the top here, um, we have this really cool innovation sample case. Uh, this came from Minnesota Elevator, so a huge, huge thanks to them for sending this out. 
Um, this has all sorts of innovation buttons on it. Um, that's Decorator, Universal, Bruiser. Uh, all these are the Premier line. Um, another Universal. These are Prestige down here. Now it's Pinnacle. And we've got two bar buttons here. And a Lantern. And it does all light up, so I'll flip this switch so you can see that. And it looks pretty cool. This is a really neat piece. Huge thanks again to MEI for sending this out here. It's a super cool piece um, to have. And of course, I say sample case, it folds up and turns into a, uh, not a literal suitcase, but looks an awful lot like one. And then above that we have this Westinghouse elevator ad. I'm assuming it's from like the 50s or 60s. Um, this is for Westinghouse Selectomatics. Um, you can pause if you want to read that. And you can be sure if it's a Westinghouse. Down here below the sample case we have a Westinghouse lantern from presumably the 60s, a little bit beat up. Um, and then this is a Montgomery floor indicator, also presumably from the 60s. Um, that's pretty cool. And then we have this old plate that I'm really not sure what kind of an elevator it came off of. I'm assuming an Otis, but I'm that's just kind of a wild guess. Throwing a dart at a dartboard and just hoping for the best. So, <clears throat> not too sure on that one. Um... Moving down the shelf, well, for one thing, we have this Kone and Otis keychains on this Kone lanyard. Uh, it was sitting here under the sample case. There we go. Uh, this is the guts to that Westinghouse lantern. It's got the dinner bell on the back. Um... This, I'm not sure what this is. This is an old plate. I think the uh, it's got the guts in it too. Um, not in the greatest shape, obviously. I got this for super cheap on eBay, but I'm not really sure what it is. If somebody knows, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> but I have no uh, clue at all what that is. And here are the other two of those Adams Survivor stick call stations. This one's missing. or I've got the floor indicator somewhere, but it fell off. And then here's the other one. Um, this is a to be used in case of fire only button from California. It's an ERM button. Um, I bought this for really cheap. This button's in really pretty bad shape. Barely even pushes in. But And then next to that is one of my uh, coolest things. It's a custom monitor button that monitor sent me a few years ago. So huge thanks to them. This is really cool. You can actually hold your use that as a phone holder as well. And it says monitor on the back. That is super cool. Um, again, huge thanks to monitor for sending that out to me. Did not have to do that. Super cool. And then in front of that, we have just a bunch of smaller buttons that don't have a play. They're just the bases. These are some Adams replacements. That's for Dover Traditional. That's for Otis Touch Sensitive. Um, Adams Survivor. Uh, monitor that came with that. Uh, Kone Delta, uh, which is made by Innovation. And then Epco. And one more Epco. And then down here, we uh, the last thing is a Dover traditional call station. I'm working on getting a key for that. Um, but it's kind of just sitting down here lonely by itself until I get something else that fits down here. <coughs> so that will do it um, for the parts update. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, and that is it.